So once again, a very good morning to one and all. Today we have a topic, learn how to do anger design in masonry like a professional. I hope this will be one of the most interactive session for today. Duration of the webinar is 45 minutes. We will be having a question and answer interaction session for 10 minutes. We have poll and feedback session, which is very important because your valuable feedback helps us to improve a lot, which is about five minutes. Use only Google Chrome, Firefox, no Internet Explorer. Just going to the webinar details. If you want to make your screen in full view, press plus here. If you have any questions, please go to questions and chat over here. If you have any issues in your connection, please go to the chat box. You can mention your comments here. And last, as I mentioned, the polls, there will be three questions. You can just go for yes or no according to your choices. Then please update because this is one of the most important session for us. So once again, a good morning. A very small introduction about myself. I have been working for myself as Dinesh Ajay Kumar, senior field engineer for KSA. I have been working for one and a half year as assistant professor, then have switched into fixing. Currently, I am having more than three years experience in fixing. My specialization is in masters of engineering, structural engineer. I have specialized in design of chemical, mechanical and nylon angles, as well as installation system. Here is the sum of my external certifications, like I have done international conference on innovation in civil engineering, national conference on emergent technologies, and some of my awards and recognitions. Before moving into the presentation, one of the most important things that have been influenced in our daily routine nowadays, safety measures that need to be considered due to COVID-19. Use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer or wash hands as often as possible, cover your mouth and nose when you sneeze or cough and wash up promptly, avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth with unwashed hands. Do not use clothes and utensils used by sick people without disinfecting. If you are sick, seek immediate medical attention. Services what we provide to our client are as shown. We do have innovative products. We do design assistance and software support. We do technical trainings and seminar. We do have catalogs, handbooks, and technical documents for the related products. We are there inside for your quality assurance and pullout test. We do on-site trainings and demos. We have various products in our range as shown, chemical fixing, steel fixing, insulation fixing, general fixing, foams and sealants, fire stop, cavity fixing, frame fixing, ACT, and summon tech. So today, our topic is about masonry. When we say masonry, there are very long list of different masonry, as you can see in the image, such as solid blocks, hollow blocks, and lightweight blocks such as aerated concrete blocks. Today, we will be covering what are the different types of masonry that is available in market, what are the most economical solution for this types of masonry. Also, we will see how many, how masonry designs can be done by saving your time. So before starting, let's see what are the challenges we face during masonry fixings. First of this challenge is that masonry have so many edges which are not specified dimensions for each type. There is no standards, which means it can change from country to country standards or factory to factory standards. As I said, there are different sizes and shapes. The drilling method differs to each masonry blocks. The different core inside, such as hollow, perforated, solid, and of course, the compressive strength for different blocks will be different. So these are the most commonly challenges which we face while we do masonry applications. What does the failure, failure of masonry means? Here you can see some images that is due to failure masonry. What happens? Can you just assume what happens if we use a wrong anger in a wrong masonry? You can see the crack formed on the masonry as, as well as in the road. So let's look into the unique solution of masonry. As a solution provider, we are having ETA approval, which is internationally worldwide accepted test approval. 
First of all, the most commonly used masonry known as solid block fixing. Fisher is always conservative to provide the most economical solution. Solid block mainly, we have two types of solution. One is chemical solution, which is PIS V or PIS VL. The secondary one is nylon fixing, which is known as XXR or XXRL. Now the second type of block is hollow block fixing. Over here also, we do have two solutions, one in chemical, which is FIS-V or FIS-VL. With FIS-V or FIS-VL, we have a sleeve. We will discuss in much detail in coming slides. And also XXR or XXRL. Newcomer to the market, which is known as aerated concrete fixing. Over here, we have mainly three types of fixing. One is steel fixing, which is known as FPXI. Then we have GB with safety screw, which is a nylon fixing and also chemical fixing, which is known as FIS-V or FIS-VL. So let's start with our first topic, Fisher solution for solid block fixing. As I mentioned before, there are two types, but we will start with the first one, XXR. This is the most commonly used solution, which is known as XXR or XXRL. Why it is known as an all-rounder? Because it has got an approval of 14 different middling materials, which is having ET approval, fire approval, and also the facade approval. Now, let me ask you, why do you say that? Or why do we say that fissure nylon angles are different from plastic angles? You can share your points on the chat box. Why do we say that fissure nylon angles are different from plastic angles? Is anyone knowing about why it is differ from, from the ordinary plastic angles? Because there are two types of, exactly Mr. Abhinav, it's because of the grade of nylon, yes. So fissure nylon angles are made up of polyamide angles, PS6 and not polyethylene. So what are the advantages of using a polyamide? It have permanent high loads, it has got low setting torque, a very good temperature resistance, a very good chemical resistance, a good damping, and also electrical insulation characteristics. Now moving to the next one, XXRL. Over here, you can see the XXRL will be, is available at two angles depths. One is 70 mm and one is 90 mm. As I mentioned before, it is also approved for all different 40 different building materials. The approvals as ETA approval, which is option one, our formationary and concrete, then fire approval, then we have facade approval too. We can say that XXR is one of the problem solver in all the type of solution block. Now let's watch a video how the installation is being done in XXRL. First of all, you will use drilling machine with drill bit to make holes. You can see the upper top with a perforated block, the below portion with concrete block. Once you make a hole, you will make sure were, through a push through installation, you fix your angle. Using the anti rotation pins 8 installation, you will tighten the screw. In the concrete, you can see it works upon the friction basis, and over there, you can see the open, the perforated block for locking purpose. One of the most common used application, facade, because it's a facade approved angle where it can be used for facade application as well as the shown applications like MEP applications or any block fixing applications. Now we have completed with solid block fixing. Now let's move to hollow block fixing. What will be the solution for hollow block fixing? As mentioned, the first one is chemical. When we say chemical, you have a sleeve. We will discuss about the sleeve. And also we have the nylon, which is XXR or XXRL as mentioned above. The second type of commonly used blocks are hollow blocks. Here, I would like to introduce the most efficient angle, which is chemical angle. It has got a high performance hybrid motor as well for concrete, solid block, hollow block, and aerated concrete. You can see the approvals over here. It has got German approval. It has got option one, option seven approval. Now looking into the installation, as explained previously, you will make a hole using your drill machine. Once you make a hole, you will use a sleeve. Once you have inserted the sleeve, you will make sure that you inject your chemical to the sleeve. Once the chemical is injected to the sleeve, you will use your threaded rod to tighten it. And this is how it comes.
Now, when we say about angle slip, you can see a small bar like sharpen portion for the optimal hold in the board hold. And you can see a thin border over here that provides the sliding of the hold. You can see why we use the sleeve is that we want to make sure the chemical gets hold inside this and the perforated blow. Because as you know, it's a hollow. If it doesn't use the sleeve, it goes into the hollow part. Here, I would like to ask a question. You can share your answers in the chat box as previously. The question is that, shall we use sleeve in a solid block? Shall we use this type of anger sleeve in a solid block? In a whole of solid block, yes. I hope the question is clear. Shall we use this type of sleeve in a whole in a solid block? If your block is solid, should we use this type of sleeve? Yes, Mr. Akashif, no need. Okay. Can I get some more comments, please? No, okay, Mr. Hyder, no bonding area will be received. Okay. Yes, you are right, Mr. Kasif and Mr. Haider. Yes, you don't need to use the hollow, you don't no need to use the sleeve in the solid block fixings. Now, this is the some of the real application picture, which is done in the Middle East region. You can see two different types of sleeves. One is cloth sleeve and the other one is plastic sleeve as shown. This is how it works. When you in, once you insert the chemical, you will inject the threaded rod inside it and it gets locked over there. Now let's look into some application pictures. These are the different application pictures where you can use sleeve with chemicals. You can see different types of applications over here in different types of blocks. The most commonly used blocks in Middle East is hollow block, as I've shown you the real real picture. And that's all about so, uh, hollow block. Now, let's move into aerated block, the solution for aerated block. Nowadays, these blocks are most common in Middle East. You can see a lot of contractors suffering to fix their requirement in this block. As Fisher, we are here to solve your problem because Fisher is having mainly three types of solution, which is chemical, then we do have steel fixings, then we do have nylon fixings. So let's look into the detail. First of all, let's see nylon, which is known as aircrete angle GB. As I mentioned, the advantages of our nylon, it's a 100% nylon angle, which is having a German approval. It can be used for MEP applications too. In the next slide, you can understand how we can use in MEP applications also the same angle. At the same time, we have metal angles also, steel angles, which is known as FPXI which is ETA approved angle and also which is having a fire resistance approval. You can see the application picture over here. As I said, the GB, there are only three steps to install GB. First of all, you will make a hole using your drill machine. Once you have made your hole, you will use your nylon angle. Once you use your nylon angle, you will use your screw. If you have any MEP application, there's a special screw which is not an STST screw. It comes with a screw, then a threaded rod, so that you can fix directly your threaded rod to the clamp. This is one of the application which we have done again in Middle East. It's one of the beautiful application because you can see the marble cladding being fixed to the AAC block. It is strong enough, the bolt is strong enough to hold the cladding system itself. It's a real life application picture. Now let's look into the installation video of FPXI. As I mentioned, there are only three steps. The first step is as usual, we'll make a hole using a drill machine. Once you make a hole using a drill machine, you will use your angle. You will use your hammer to punch the hammer inside. You will get a setting tool along with this angle, which is like a unique square expansion. Once this is expand, you will make sure that it is locked over there. With this sitting tool, once you are tightening, you can see the bolt revising and it opens like a butterfly inside. And this is how it works the principle. It's like an automatic setting control for a perfect expansion of the angle. Over here, then you can use the threaded rod, then you can have your applications further on. There are different types of available, I mean, different heads available. Like if you have any ring, if you have any countersunk, 
it's available these are the applications you can if you have a handrail or something in a plaster board with air feed block you can have and these are the applications now we have closed our two sections what are the different types of masonry and what are the most economical solution for the masonry before moving to the next topic please see that for any in-house training please type train me in the chat window so that our expertise will reach to you and will give you a special training on the application as well as on the software so if anyone is interested to have a personal training or for their team a training you can please type train me in the chat window yes i can see some of our, some of them are mentioning train me so please if you are interested in any of the further trainings for yourself or for your team in your office please let us know our expertise will reach to you and will train you in house will provide you in house trainings okay now let's focus into the design which is most important part because we receive common questions how can we design in a masonry block is it very easy to design in a masonry block what are the codes that we should follow in the masonry block is there any codes to be followed what are the failures that can happen in a masonry block so there are so many doubts arriving due to masonry designs so first of all the load resistance of the anger is considerably reduced by stones with cavities and joints for a masonry in a plastered masonry the position of anger is not visible which influence on the load resistance now we will see how it is how it is going to influence first of all there are different possibilities of angering the first one is single anger in the stone or in the joint you can see a single anger over here which is being it can be either on the center or on the edges or on the reveal side so the question is that whether is there any effect yes there is if you change your position of course there will be effects as per the anger what load will be like if it is in center it will take maximum load or if it is an edge it will take maximum load it will be different according to the fixing the second possibility is group of two angles this will be most common type of fixing when you have masonry fixing you will have two fixings in your angle what happens if you have two fixings in a similar block for sure the load will be less because the load distribution is happening in only in one block at the same time if you can see the the anger is being fixed in two different blocks the distribution also expands and the load of the blocks also expands and also the strength of angles also expands over here when it goes to the worst case which is four group of four angles you can see there are group of four angles over here when you have group of four angles for sure it will be affecting the full uh, structure over here at the same time it can affect your spacing it can affect your edge distance and so now what are the code which we follow for masonry since we are in middle east we follow etac 029 there are different codes also for masonry but most commonly as you know most commonly accepted codes are always european codes and american codes we are following etac 029 so let's see when we design according to etac 029 what, what are the characters we should look into it there are two types of resistance that is resistance to tension load and resistance to shear load so what are the factors that will govern in tension load those are steel failure pull out failure of the angle brick breakout failure pull out of one brick influence of joint so these are the factors that will check once we are doing any resistance to tension load we will check steel failure we will check pull out brick pull out of one brick according to my experience steel failure will be very less because as you know the masonry is very weaker most of the time it will be a failure due to pull out of one brick or brick breakout failure because steel is having much good capacity than the brick of masonry secondly when we are going to resistance to shear load over here also we do the check for failure of the metal part shear load with or without lever arm local brick failure brick edge failure pushing out of one brick and of course influence of joints so these are the checks which we do while doing a design for etac 029 
again as a fisher we are here to provide you design in a software which is on design on your fingertips it's a free software you can ask for installation similarly if you want any training for this you can just type as prescribed before train me we'll be providing a free training section individually or for your group so let's move to the software once you open our experience software you can see different bars over here like cfix rail fix rebar fix wood fix install fix motor fix and cast in channel fix today we will be focusing on cfix because masonry design comes under this once you open this click cfix so once you open cfix you will get your software like this it's a very user friendly software because once you start from here and once you end over here you have done your design as per your requirement the point is that you have to keep in your mind you just need what are the substrate if you have a base plate what is the specified base plate if you have any angle layout what is the specified angle layout if you have any profile what is the profile what is the load or design methods what are the multiple design and of course the print out so let's start over here you can see the first drop down concrete or masonry today we are focusing on masonry so we will change to masonry once you change to masonry you can see your home page like this your software moves to the masonry application once you have done masonry what you have to do is you have to see the next drop down what type of brick you have once you press the drop down you can see there are different types of brick even bricks for old countries are available since in middle east hollow block is most commonly used we will do a design for hollow block so we will unclick solid brick and aerated concrete we'll just click for more easiness over here you can see perforated or hollow brick let's go down let's see what type of brick block we are using here most commonly used is lightweight concrete hollow block we will select lightweight concrete hollow block so the image changes to lightweight hollow block once you have done this you can check because as i told the composition can differ from uh, factories to factories or countries to countries so if you are not sure it is not up to 10 or it is not up to 4 you can just change your compressive strength over here i am selecting greater than or equal to 10 newton per mm square right now once you have done this you are ready with your block what will be the next thing the next thing will be your base plate so how you will specify your base plate as you know there are different types of base plate which is circle ellipse hexagon polygon you can use any type of base plate for example if you have something which is not standard you can just customer customize your base plate by moving by adding your points by making it your star base plate as per your application this is for just for your inference right now anyhow anyhow we will be using rectangle which is most common again so let's see if it's a rectangle base plate how can we change the dimension of the base plate you can go here you can press 250 the base plate dimension changes again if you want to change the width you can change over here which is where you can change according to your requirement the base plate size i'm not changing the thickness right now because we will do the base plate thickness check after this we are just assuming right now the base plate thickness is eight as per the specifier once you have done this the next option is angle layout what do you mean by angle layout like how many number of angles is required as i told there are three types like one two four the most worst case will be four because we don't know whether the two angles is going to come in one block or whether the two angles is going to split and come so we will use four numbers of angles in this application once you select four you can see four numbers of angles mentioned here now there's something which is very important you need to know the spacing between the angles if you keep your cursor here it will show you the minimum space required is 100 it means that it should be minimum 100 it should not go less than 100 what happens if we go less than 100 if we go less than 100 it will give you an error over here at this time it will give an error over here and it will not show you any results over here this is what we will go here and we'll check minimum is 100 but right now i'm keeping 150 for the angle spacing 
if you have any anger eccentricity you can change over here by using anger eccentricity at the same time if you have any slotted holes if you want to change your slotted holes in any direction you can have your slotted holes changed also over here once you are done with this you will go to the profile since you know there are different profiles available in the market like i x l square pet square tube hollow rectangular etc we will use most commonly again which one is i profile over here if you have any customized like if you want to change your width and height according to the manufacturer you just you can just click customized you can change width you can change height you can change the flange thickness and the width thickness once you have done this your customized i profile will be here at this moment i am just going to select i140 so once we have selected i140 you can see the profile has changed and you can see the angles also over here once this is done you need to give the load load you will get from your structural engineers what load you are looking for the action loads such as tension such as moments shear etc if we have only one load you can directly enter here for example i am entering right now a tension of 0.5 a moment of in this direction let's assume it's 0.2 and let's assume a shear of One point five, one point five, one point nine. Okay. Now, once you have entered the load, if you have more loads to enter, what you can do? Just press enter loads. You will get a column over here where you can keep on adding how many how many loads you want. You can just keep on adding. Right now, I'm just checking for one case, so let it be one. I'm just removing the others. So this is how you can add the number of loads. now if you see you can see that in tension our angle is passing in shear our angle is passing but when it goes to the combination it is failing this is how you can recognize the design failure so it means the angle is not passing now you need to check which angle can pass since i have used 16 by 85 m10 it's not passing we will change to the next size which is 20 by 85 which will be m12 even that is not passing so we will change to the higher size which is known as 20 by 85.16 now you can see all the factors all the resistance are passing in tension in shear in combination of tension and shear and now you can find that your angle design is done now what you need to do is as i told we need to check the base plate whether this base plate thickness is enough you can use our finite element design over here if you have any standard of the base plate you can go for customized one if you don't have any standard if you have a although if you have which is like standard ones you can use this if you have any customized you just go to customize and you can change the options here right now i will use s235 st37 over here as i told you current plane thickness is 8 mm let's see whether this plane thickness is enough or not we will show distribution of stress Yes, it's only fifteen percentage, which means it's more than enough. But let's check what will be the minimum base plate thickness. If we go to minimum base plate thickness, you can just show again show distribution of stress. You can see minimum is four, which means it's having hundred percent utilization. So if you want to reduce, you can reduce your base plate also. So let's reduce your base plate up to six mm, which is not hundred percent utilization, but less than. 100% utilization we can see it's only 31 percentage when we are using cis and you can go for apply thickness once you give apply thickness your base plate check is also done after this we need to print out the report for this what we have to do is we'll go for input project data if you want to specify your project you can just go for select project already i have a project specified here let's add a project which is known as a webinar project we will add webinar project if you have address you can add if you have country you can select from here then you can press okay you can just go for record highlight data set after that the one who has done whether it's a client whether it's architect whether it's a contractor you can go here and you can add your details 
right now myself from design office so i will go here i will select over here then we will select the one over here either you can add as i mentioned before you can just add you can add all your details over here then you can apply the load now if you have if you have any details you can mention over here it will come here once you have done this just select because i have already done my uh, pre work over here so i'm just selecting this i will go for record highlighted data set once this is done i will close now we will see how we will take the report let's go for the preview over here you have different types whether if you want only installation data you can go for installation data if you want only anger design you go for anger design if you want a short report you can go for a short report let me show you how full report looks like if you want to include the finite element calculation for the base plate, you can give a tick over here. And after doing all this, you can show PDF to see how your report looks like. Now you can see the report is here. The project name is here. The guy who has done the design is here. And your design specification is here. So this is how the report looks like. Over here, you can see which product you have proposed which angle road you have proposed what will be the angle depth and the images of the product whether and also the approval of the product at the same time if you go down you can see what are the data you have included like the compressive strength like pre-positioned or push through you can see whether you have what base plate geometry you have used what profile you have used so and so over here you can see the load which you have used as in the arrows which we have you will get the loads over here after that as i told what are the check which we will do for resistance to tension load you see we are doing different types of check as i showed in the slide steel failure pull out failure brick breakout single brick breakout breakout angle group pull out of one brick you can see the most biggest utilization is in brick breakout angle group which is 58.5 steel is only having utilization of 1.4 which is very less so the most failure happening is which will happen is in brick breakout once you have done the resistance to tension load you can have the check for each one as each specified steel failure equations are here or how we have calculated the steel failure how the pullout failure is calculated how the brick breakout single angle is calculated how angle group is calculated after this the similarly it will be done for the resistance to shear load if you see resistance to shear load you can see again the proof check over here what are the different types which we will look into and you can see it's local brick failure single group and angle group it's almost the same 39.6 percentage utilization after that also there will be a detailed explanation for the for the anger once you have done the combination as i told you once was for the first anger which was m10 it was not passing because of combined tensile and shear load but over here it is passing because we have changed the size of angle to higher size after doing that base plate thickness check will be here it will be here over here, over here you can see what type of base plate you have used what is the thickness of the base plate what is the utilization of that base plate and the profile type if you want any details of the installation you will get the article number the article the product name and the details of all your products over here this will be the accessories for the installation this is the installation details that if you want your site engineers to know what thread diameter they have to use to drill they need to know what torque they have to apply what installation type you can see over here all the details will be mentioned in the installation details area once this is done if you want to cast your base plate because as i told you if the base plate is not cast and you want to make them cast you can give your anger coordinates and your base plate material details and the clearance of holland so you can cast your base plate directly from the suppliers and this is all how it looks like in the report once this report is taken you will just save the report and you can use it for your references and also for your submissions so this is all about the software now let's move to the questions Please let me know if you have any questions. And also, as I told you, there's important session besides the question, which is polls. Kindly add your poll values to that point because we want your feedback for the session.
okay how the first question was how to reach the previous webinar yes you can reach in the previous webinar we do have saved options we can share with you uh, we can, you can browse in youtube also now mr kashif mohammed has asked hi my question is a bit out of this presentation i need to have some information for angle fixing on box sections 200 by 200 by 4 we want to hand granite cladding okay sir we will come back to you for this because this is not involved in, as you told is not in this presentation we will give you this question i mean we will give our expertise uh, our expertise will reach you to solve you this question i mean for, for this application we will reach to you very soon Now there's a very interesting question. When to use conical drill bit in AAC and when to use the slate? Yes, it's a one one of the major good questions, Mr. Uh, Tushar Stabli. Uh, okay, the conical drill bit is used in AAC block because you know the concrete AAC block is very light in weight, so there is the stress transformation of it will be very weak. So to give a more strength for it, we use. Uh, we use a uh, AAC block over here. I mean, we use conical drill bit so that you will get a more uh, more preference. I mean, like you can add more chemical and your bone strength increases over there. When to use the sleeve is that if you have any hollow block or any perforated or any sleeve type, you have to go and use sleeve angles. Like, why do we use sleeve? The point is that if you go directly with the chemical to the hollow block, you don't know whether the chemical is there inside the hollow block because it can ease out. To stop this, we will use a sleeve to make sure that your chemical is fixed inside the perforated blocks or hollow block. Then you can use your threader to install. I hope this is clear. We designed a chicken mesh as skin reinforcement for masonry wall. Okay, this will hold the masonry from out of plane failure during lateral load. We found a challenge to fix the mesh to the masonry. Can you suggest a suitable method? Yes, this will be a problem problem because as you are uh, fixing your chicken mesh to the skin reinforcement, you need to know what type of masonry is that. If it is very light or very substance, as I told you, we have an all rounder. Even though if you don't know the substrate, you can use that substrate and you can use uh, our angle, which is known as UX or XXR. You, it comes in small size, small sizes also. If you are not sure about your masonry. Kindly, please go to the polls and please add your valuable points to the polls at this time, please. Okay, can the can the FPXI hold M10 threader hold 300 kgs? Uh, yes, it can hold 300 kgs. Uh, but actually, I need to check because. Right now, I don't have the document with me. I need to check. But yes, it can go up to maybe not with one thread rod, maybe two. It can hold. Yes, it can be used with M thread rod for the uh, holding purpose. Mr. Richard has again asked, what is the maximum weight the anger can hold in hollow blocks? See, the point is that it depends upon the application and also according to the block. If you are not sure about your block, uh, it cannot. But for us, we have done so many tests and we have so many standards that can be used for a hollow brick fixation. If you want, we can share that those data sheet like for hollow block. This is the maximum. This is according to our test. But maybe your hollow block can have more compressive system or maybe it has different uh, compressive system. So it depends upon the hollow block also. So please let me know. So our expertise will reach you and can uh, do a pull out in front of you for minimum five blocks uh, so that you can understand how much your block can take the load because we do five pull outers to make an average so that it is acceptable universally. Do you have any solution to fix steel bracket on steel tube? Unfortunately, right now we don't have any solution, but if you can share the application, we can see 
uh, what type of application or we can provide our uh, innovative solution over there. So let me understand what type of applications you have and we'll see. Right now, unfortunately, we don't have any fixing terms field. Again, Mr. Richard has asked, can you please share with me the load test for different load? For sure, we can share you. After once the presentation is done, our team will reach to you and they will share the corresponding documents for your different types of blocks. Mr. Christopher has asked, in some special cases on site, can I have my calculation the opposite way? Example, I will select anchoring type then I will select the wall type and specs. Yes, you can do that because once you know your masonry is weaker, you can select what type of application you have. Then if you want to select anger, we can propose, okay, for this anger, this type of blocks to be provided even in your specs. I think so far the questions. Kindly, Mr. Nawaz Hassan has also asking kindly share the load test for different blocks. Yes, sir. We should we will share the load test for different blocks. Yes. What is the difference between XXR and XXR? Uh, the, the, the mostly it is the same anger, but the point is that it XSR comes in 14 with different anchorage depth too. What is Mr. Heider is asking? What is the minimum stress of chemical used in MPA? Uh, see the our chemical angers, the one which I proposed this week starts from very least which is like c2025 grade up to c5060 if we have special applications we can provide the test in our uh, r d division and we can provide you the chemical accordingly once again a reminder kindly go to polls and please Please rate according to the post shown over here. Because your feedbacks will give us a lot of improvement points. So once again, requesting to go to polls and kindly vote for that. I hope all the questions which has been in the section has been covered. Okay, there's Mr. Richard asking, can you make special anchorage upon request? I didn't get your question, Mr. Richard. What do you mean by special anchorage? Could you please elaborate the question? Please let me know if you need any more other trainings for your uh, software or if you want to discuss any type of application our expertise will reach to you you can just type on the chat box so we can share our contact show your contacts to our expertise and they will come and they can give you the training on one-to-one -one. mr mohanad Gazelle is asking, is it possible to study a case where I have to fix on solid and hollow block at the same time? Yes, we, you can. Uh, there's no point because, see, uh, the product which I told nylon is has been approved for both for solid as well as for hollow. So if you want to use the same product and if you want to check the features, we can do a test in your site and can check the uh, strength of the anger at the same time. Is it possible? So I think we can do that. Uh, there is no problem in that. Uh, 
Mr. Richard is asking if I give you a load and area to be angled in amb ambiguous angles and delete spaces, can you customize a special angle with and vibrators and the like? If I give you a load and area, if I give the lo load and area, and if I give all the substrate which you're going to use, yes, for sure we can give you a design according to applications which you have. Mr. Haider is saying again, then I do require as some time I need to make manual collection while facade design. Sure, sir. Please let us know if you want our expertise to reach you so that we can have one to one interaction and can close out close your topic. Mr. Christopher is asking, do Fisher have a shim as separator between angle bolts and other metal types to avoid chemical reactions? Uh, unfortunately, under my understanding, I think we don't have this, but let me check. I, I'm not so sure if I think we don't have this, but let me get back to you for this, sir. Okay, Mr. Mohammed Osama Hussein is asking, why do we use Fisher product for fixing in masonry as many local products are available in market for fixing? Yes. Why do we have to use Fisher is that? The point is that if you want your building to stand for a long time, like for more than 10 years, you have to go with the product which is valid, which is like having international approvals, so and so. At the same time, if you are using any fixings like which you are from local market, you can just see after one year or two years, mostly after one year, those nylon, which I told, polyamide PA6, which is our substance, which PA6 can resistant, can have more resistance, but others will not have. It will go very easily. It can, uh, the ultraviolet rays can affect and it can dissolve. It will be like a plastic. You can see the anger may be coming out, maybe the sleeve coming out, maybe the uh, plastic plug itself coming out. So for sure, if you want your pro pro project to be well established and well not that there's no failures are going to happen after like two to three years for sure you need to use something which is like Fisher products mr Hyder is asking again sure then generally i do design grc panel for way sure sir we will come to you for more detailed discussion now mr richard is asking again Apart from English, do we have good do you have good fasteners? If so, can I have a cut? For sure, sir. We are having all type of angles for all today's topic was masonry. That's why we were covering only masonry. We were just focused on masonry. We are into many projects for different type of application. Like as if you have any concrete, if you have any steel fixing for the concrete, we do have different types of angles for in metal as well as chemical. For sure, we'll share your catalog after this presentation my team will be sharing you the catalog for your for the details for the i hope we have covered almost all the sessions and all the questions so far uh, please let us know if you need any other support in software i know our software was pretty uh, fast because we were doing only one case there will be more cases or maybe also we can do one to one discussion and we can solve you solve the cases for you our design team will be doing designs for you uh please let me know if you need any other support from fisher our team will be very happy to serve you at the same time kindly go to the polls and please register the polls as i said it's very important to know the feedback of yours so that we can improve in our coming sessions once again thank you to one and all let's catch up on the next webinar thank you